Welcome back. Marriage versus loneliness. Insights from Shannon Sharp and comedian Goffrey. Let's talk about this really quickly. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, we got a small video here. Let's watch this video together. All right, let's watch this video together and then we'll talk. Thoughts on marriage. Same as yours. I want to get married. You, you do? You don't look like you do. Look at your face. <laughs> I, look, I, this is what, I marriage is a great institution. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe I need to be institutionalized. <laughs> <laughs> do you have kids? None. As far as I know, man, my pullout game is ridiculous. Like an inside fastball. Ball one. <laughs> What? I hope I get something off. That is too Before I, uh, I don't know. If I get too old. I mean, I, dang. I mean, what, you know, what? them swimmers don't have the same pizzazz as they start to age. Man, with all this technology, I got an AI sperm, boy. Man, what you mean? AI sperm. AI sperm, sperm like. Stupid. <laughs> I have an AI baby and say, <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you married? I don't multitask well. I'm mean? addicted to success because I can't do two things. My career, Club Shay Shay, nightcap, yeah. first first Phew, tape. That's a lot. Takes up so much of my time. So I'm doing seven to ten shows. I'm taping seven to ten shows a week. Damn. So a lot. Hmm. And, and 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 if somebody is not as mo I'm obsessed yeah, which with is this. It. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. It's that. hard to be obsessed with two things. So how are you going? You gotta you, it has to be a, a person that understands that? Yes. Yeah. And been. people say they understand it until they're living yep, in it. Yep. Yep. It's true. Everybody says, oh, I understand oh my God. structure and I understand discipline and I understand yeah. dedication and determination. Supposedly. Until you actually get with someone that's devout about that. I'm really good friends with my ex-girlfriend. Really good friends. We're good friends. Better as friends. friends. Than, yeah. But other than that, they say, you, you, you gonna be, you gonna be all alone. One day I don't know. I'm not gonna be alone. I just wanna be left the fuck alone. It's different. <laughs> it's a big difference. Like even if I live with you, go over there. The, the, wow. Two, two, keys. two things can be true. What? Being alone is not bad. Right. It's being lonely. That's different. And I like my time. I like my my time by myself. Do you? I, I love, love that. Uh, obviously. That shit. I love I it. I can spend hours by my damn I self. Can. If you're a reader. So can I, okay? So can I. And I love my me time too. Uh, so does my wife and she loves our me time too, okay, but we also spend a lot of time together <sighs> Jesus Oh God, oh God, oh God Let's keep going, let's keep going If you're an information type of guy, that's why I say I like to read a lot Information, comedy's information by yes. the way too mm -hmm. Reading, I tell comics, they'll read a lot of shit Don't, Nothing's too stupid for you Go to the museum, Go. I can do all that by myself right. You go to the gym, you work out on your own I do yeah, you like me? I, Let me see how old drag Duffy is. People to go to the gym sometimes. Oh, I, don't, I gotta go. Yeah, I do. I've done a lot of stuff on my own. Travel by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't travel with a crew of people. I travel by myself. Not all women are bad, but I've been single for a long time, man. My Try to get used to it, don't you? My best. Yeah, it's so fun. Godfrey is a whole ten years older than me. A whole ten years. He's fifty-four years old. Goffrey C. Danchima. He's an Igbo man, by the way. I think so. Igbo man. Dancy. Goffrey C. Danchima Jr. He's been a comedian for a long time. Like, I grew up seeing this guy on Comic View on BET. I won't say grew up, I was already 18. But, you know, between 18 and 22, that, that bracket right there. It's kind of weird when I say I'm growing up at 18. At that time, I was already a bachelor. Ah, oh, let's see. I want to dissect this soon. Uh, my freedom. You know how we fight for freedoms? Financial mm -hmm. freedom, mental freedom. Yeah. And when you get it, you make people trying to make you feel bad. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, if, if I get to where, you know, I want to be with somebody special, fuck yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many you got? Three. Yeah, damn, you're lucky, man. But I don't. He has three kids. Shannon Shop has three kids. Shout out to Shannon Shop. I don't have anything. I just didn't never. Here's what's fucked up. Tell us, tell Father us. Father would be like, 
Be, don't get anybody pregnant. This, this, that. Right. Be yeah. careful. Condoms. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, I'm like I have nobody pregnant. He's like, when are you going to get children? I'm like, wow, well, shit. Right. The pressure. Right. I just, it just didn't. I had a girl for like ten years. She didn't want a kid. She didn't want kids or anything. You had a girl for ten years. Wait, wait. I missed that part when I was first watched. No, I don't think I've finished the whole thing. But let's keep going. I think so. I was just used to not. You know what I'm saying? I. What's your thoughts on marriage? Same as yours. I want to get married. You want? You do? All right. So let's go over this. They're saying, look, before we go over it, you can see my comment there. Everything they said in this video, in my opinion, is cap. And I was talking to, was it Chindima? I'm not, I don't remember. I don't know if it's Chindima or Natu or somebody in the chat. And that person said, oh, the video is a longer podcast. Maybe they, because my thing is that this, there's a lot of theoretical stuff. The only part that I missed now is that he said he had a girlfriend for 10 years. That's personal, but still surface level. He didn't tell us much about that, right? And also, Shannon Sharp has three kids. I guess that's personal, but that's not about marriage, right? He didn't tell us specific examples why he thinks marriage is being institutionalized, right? It's just basically theories, okay? And people like this, they tend to do that. They talk from a place of theory, right? And uh, if you watch this channel long enough, you will have seen me and my wife talk. You would have seen us share specific stories, examples, uh, read some stories out and give certain ways to move and dissect things down to pieces, right? That's obviously what we do because we also cover trendy topics of specific things happening, right? And I felt like, you know, there's nothing specific in this except those ones I just mentioned, right? So instantly, I just put three caps. Like, uh, my brothers, please, 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 like uh, Aki and Popo. I don't know which one of them, right? Please, 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 please. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> right? Stop the cap, right? But before I revisit what they're saying and dissect it, let me see some of this comment here. Somebody said, Self-awareness is a beautiful thing. I'd rather that 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 to have my time wasted. This what you just watched in this video is not self-awareness. Okay? What I heard is fear, 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 fear. Not necessarily coming from a bad place, but what I hear is fear. Okay? The the older these gentlemen are getting, the richer they get, the more scared they are. The more they don't have trust that a person can truly love them for who they are, okay? That's what I'm hearing, not necessarily what is happening with them. That's just what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, when you say marriage, an institution almost, not almost, equivalent to institutionalized, I think the last time I heard, institutionalized means somebody is locked up in a prison, yeah? If you think marriage is that, that's that's fear. What else would you want to call that? What context do I need to listen to? You already said what you said. <laughs> you said what you said, and it is what it is, right? <laughs> Somebody said, like a inside fast ball. That was funny. Man, when you're single and at peace for a long time, you're really not in a rush to give that up. Alone does not equal lonely. It sounds cute. It really does sound cute and flowery if you will, <laughs> right? That's not the reality of this gentleman, okay? As a man, especially the one that has no kids, there's something inside of you, okay? From what I've heard so far, he said it himself. He said, I, I wish I, 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 I like to push one though before I get too old or something. Like, th that's not a person that doesn't want to have children. So we're not talking about those ones. Leave them alone. Don't bring them into this conversation. We're not talking about people that don't want to get married. Leave them alone. Don't bring them into this conversation. Okay? But this gentleman did not outrightly say they don't want marriage. They just gave us all the reasons why they're scared of marriage. Those are two different things. Those are two different things. All right? Like, oh, marriage is kind of nice and all, but that's not a person who does not want marriage. A person who does not want marriage, they are really ever involved in any conversation about marriage. They can't relate unless they're in some kind of debate where people are winning prize or something. They can't relate. It's just not a thing for them. Like, ah, and I know people like that. Like, marriage, ah, I know 50 something year old people like that, man or woman. Ah, uh, my, I, I, I thought about it. 
Yeah, but I'm good. That's usually the conversation, <laughs> right? That's usually the conversation. And oftentimes, they're also not engaged in a lot of romantic activities like that. To the extent where they are dating a person for 10 years and they are, they are pulling, their pull, pull game is, uh, what is, what do they call it? Pull out game. Anyway, man, when you're single and at peace, cap, not from these two guys that are talking, okay? Not that they're not at peace, but particularly when you're relating with single, no, that's, they're not related. They just happen to be single. They are at peace. Those are two different things entirely. Anyway, this person said, this one of those conversations. Oh, well, this conversation is longer than I thought, but let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. This person said, this one of those conversations I wish I was in the room. As a married man, I'd love to just offer a different perspective. Thank you. Hmm. That's why it's very important to take our time oh, and explain to some people. Some people just need to be enlightened sometimes. I, I, I'm not enlightening a 54-year-old man. How old is Shannon Sharp? No, I'm not doing that. I don't, I'm not selling marriage to these people. Mm -mm. Uh, just, just in case you're here, you happen to be a Shannon Sharp, but not the exact person, or Goffrey. Then, you know, Shannon Sharp is, is 55 years old, so they're about the same age. There's nothing I can offer them. They are, they are peaceful, you're right. <laughs> they are peaceful, okay? But let me just extract the lessons out of this uh, conversation, please, I beg. It's not about them and their choices. I want you to pay attention to some things, okay? This is not about them at all, okay? There's some things I want you to pay attention to. I just want you to know that nature uh, does not lie, okay? Uh, another thing, another part of our nature is that we, we are social beings. We are evolving as social beings. So they, when we say nature, please, that's not necessarily a stagnant thing either. That is, uh, a lot of time, that's a moving target. Okay? A lot of time, that's a moving target. So, uh, let me see what else they're saying here in the comments. This is one of those. So, as a married man, I'd love to just offer a different perspective. That person is being nice. He's saying what I'm saying in a nicer way, essentially. You can feel the genuine conversation here. No, the conversation is not genuine. That's cap. They were saying what they don't mean. Okay? I think Shannon and Godfrey are willing. I don't think they're able when it comes to marriage. I don't think they are able. And they will have a hard time admitting that if all they want to do is come up with excuses why it is institutional. How do you know it's institutionalized if you haven't been in one? Has it been ever married before? I don't know, tell me. But if in fact he's never been married before, how does he know it's institutionalized? Yeah, I think it's more like institutionalized when you're not married. How do I know? Because you get, if you're in the United States, you get taxed multiple times over in so many ways, not just Uncle Sam. Is that a reason to go and get married? No, I'm just saying it aligns with so many other reasons. Should you force yourself to go get married? No, please don't do that. Please, there's another human being involved, okay? But I also think when you're in denial about certain things, you end up getting somebody pregnant or shocking with somebody for 10 years and pushing them out into the middle of the streets and then thinking they got they, you guys were scot-free. No, that person just chopped breakfast 10 years worth. And we're just going to pretend like, oh, we just kind of went a different way. We kind of decided, no, somebody chopped breakfast and somebody gave it. And nobody goes scot-free in that. They'll be scared shitless and we try to, you know, they would try to cajole you into thinking like it was just a decision no it wasn't were you listening to them and no we don't need longer context they said what they said i just say that because i know some of us like to say that seven purposes of marriage romance companionship family and legacy multiplying nature building legal life hack six significance and recognition you know obviously they don't like that these are very significant and recognized people personal growth doesn't mean they like that but there's a certain level of personal growth that you get inside of marriage but when i say it that way you see how it sounds very theoretical because there's no real life examples yet okay but what i'm saying particularly for this topic is this this is what i'm saying all right um
they, 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 I'm trying to be careful because I want to be nice to them too, right? Um, they're not able. They're not able. That's the issue. There, there's other deeper reasons why they're not able to have a marriage. It's not that they don't want marriage. I think that's cap. Okay. Stop the cap. <laughs> Allah, how do you know? How do you just tell people like, I, let's play the video again. Maybe you didn't listen. You don't look like you do. Look at your face. He even said you don't look like you do. He said, I want to be married someday. What? Let's listen to it again. What's your thoughts on marriage? What's your thoughts on marriage? Same as yours. I want he said, same as yours. And then he's sipping. That sipping tells you like, wait, <laughs> let me think. Right? For people that don't want to be married, I don't care for marriage. There are some of them like that, okay? Now, you might say, Allah, you still call them cock. Maybe. Maybe because I will hear some other things too, right? Maybe. But just because I call them cock doesn't mean they're cock. I could be wrong too, okay? But I just want you to pay attention to some of this body language and some of this non-verbal speeches that's going on right now. It's non-verbal communication going on. I want to get married. You, you do? You don't look like you do. He said, I want to get married. He said, you do? You don't look like you do. Look at your face. <laughs> I, look, I, this is what, I, marriage is a great institution. The reason why he doesn't believe him, because he's 55 years old. You want to get married? When is that going to happen? Well, he wants to get married. All right? But he's about to go on for the next 50 minutes to tell us why it didn't work out in the past or why he's not yet married and why he's why he thinks it's not working out right maybe too many options because it's sharp and sharp his problem is not options granted guaranteed but let's keep going yeah yeah i don't believe i need to be institutionalized <laughs> 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 Do you have kids? None. As far as I know, man, my pullout game is ridiculous. All right. I used to talk like that. Uh, I don't talk like that anymore. <laughs> my pull, I do think a pullout game is a thing. I do think I have a pullout, nice pullout game too, but I don't want to run my mouth too much <laughs> with that, right? But when you're 54 years old and you've never had kids, uh, for the gullible mind, they can take that from you and believe it. I don't think that's the issue. Okay, I don't. I think he's a very busy man, a businessman, um, a comedian, a very big comedian, and I think um, the kind of people that he's probably surrounded with in terms of options, he might have a hard time trusting them. The ability to trust those kind of people also diminish significantly over time. We're not just going to run away from that and just call it, I don't want to be married. No, 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 no. You're scared. It's fear. Did I say that already? Let's keep going. Like an inside fact? No, and rightfully so. So I'm not saying that they're wrong for being scared, okay? But if you identify what the problem is, then maybe you can actually come up with a solution. But if you're in denial, if you're in denial about what the issue is, you can't, it'll be harder to come up with a solution. See what I'm saying? Get it? You get it? Do you get it or no? If you don't get it... You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about All it. Right. Right, let's keep going, let's keep going. Fastball. Ball one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get something off before I, uh, I don't know. He hope he gets some off. This is not a man that doesn't want children. Can we stop lying to ourselves for once? Let's continue. I get too old. I mean, I, Seven, one or two? Did he say that? Dang, I mean, what, you know, what? them swimmers don't have the same pizzazz as we start dating. The them swimmers don't have the same pizzazz. It's saying it's, it's being, his ability to impregnate a woman is not the same. Well, we don't have to argue about that, too. No, but it can happen anytime, bro. Everything gets old. Uh, auntie, everything. Yeah. Every person, think human being, plant, animal, even those trees that live for 500 years, they all get old. Why are we going to argue with our destiny like this? Jesus. Now, I get it. We don't want to say that because we want to keep hope alive. Okay, great. Prestige family. Let's, it's time. It's 2024. We need to start facing some facts so that we can actually create an awesome life. Okay. I think it was good while it lasted to be able to... 
um i think it was good while it lasted to be able to tell ourselves just keep hope alive for ourselves but at some point it start becoming lies and we have to start checking them and i think we are in that stage okay sorry i don't want to kill hope for anybody you can listen you want hope today is the best gift that god has given you what are you going to do with today i don't care what age you are what are you going to do with today the last thing you want to do with today is lying to yourselves i don't think that's a good use of today okay does that mean you should now tell yourself blatant truth all the time no i'm just saying there's no need for shall I precisely the shall I part just disengage from that just make the best of today you go explain 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 because no evidence okay let's keep going and with all this technology i got an ai sperm boy man what you mean ai sperm like <laughs> <laughs> i'm an ai baby and say this guy's impression of everybody is on point too anyway let's keep going why aren't you married i don't multitask well uh shannon Come here, come here, come over here, Shannon. Stop the cap. <laughs> Let's keep going. What I'm mean? addicted to success because. Uh, another one. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> Me too. I'm not as successful as he is, but no, nah, stop it. <laughs> I can't do two things: my career, Club Shay Shay, nightcap, yeah. first, first take. That's a lot. Uh, it's not the richest person in the world. Yes, he can. Stop the cap. <laughs> Let's keep going. Why do I have to tell him he can? Okay, he can, okay, but I know I said he's willing, he's not able to. What I meant is that he probably wants that to you, but he's not able. I'm not, that's another that context, I beg. Don't let me say, like, you tired. Uh, takes up so much of my time, so I'm doing seven to ten shows. I'm taping seven to ten shows a week. Damn. So well, maybe you're trying to fill in some voids. Maybe, just maybe, I don't know. I'm not going to psychoanalyze the guy. We're just having a conversation, okay? Maybe he's just trying to fill in the void. He has somewhere to come back home to. Maybe you actually be richer because you don't have to work all these shows. Maybe your mind will be a lot more set to it for better decision making. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, right? So, a lot. And, 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 and if somebody is not as mo, I'm obsessed. Yeah. With, with this. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. It's that. hard to be obsessed with two things. So how are you going? You got to it has to be a, a person that understands. If he has to take a dump, I say do number 2 right now. Ah, oh, Shana. Stop the cap. <laughs> uh he will still be obsessed with the show. He will go and do what he has to do. Okay? At some point he's going to eat during the course of that day. He's going to take a dump or <laughs> he's going to shell some out. Number 2. He's going to do certain eat, drink, right? Uh, sleep for at least two hours. I know you're upset with work, but you will rest will kick in at some point, right? Some other many many things that we chew and walk at the same time We chew gum and walk at the same time again. We like all this nice talking point because it justifies It justifies. I, I guess it makes you feel better, but It's not real. Okay. I personally don't believe it. It's not an opinion. I just don't believe it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And been. people say they understand it until they're living yeah. in it. Yeah. How do you know this? Stop the cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's ever been married. If he's never been married, my question is like, how do you know that people, uh, do your specific person, they say that everybody's going to end up in that. No matter what marriage you're in, they're going to say they understand until they find it like, ah, oh, well, I have to understand more. There's going to be crisis, conflict. They have to manage all of that. Just like in your personal life, there's some surprise, even as a person, right? And then you have to manage so you can move forward and then you realize you can have your cake and eat it. Actually, you can in certain respects. It just depends on you understanding that sometimes there's price, there's a price to pay for certain things. There's a cost to, you get it? Like we're making trade off all the time in life. It's irrelevant. All that I'm obsessed talk is irrelevant. Baba is not able. He's willing, he's not able. What that is not able means, I don't know his personal story. So I can't go too deeper into that. The only thing we know is a 55 year old man, it's a 54 year old man, and they're talking about marriage, and they've admitted to wanting some kind of the fruits of the marriage. They're just not willing 
to pay the price i don't think so i think they are willing to pay the price if they if they if they're able to find the right person that can make them feel that safe how who's going to make you feel safe at 55 a multi-millionaire what woman is going to be able to make you feel safe and make you feel like you can trust them that's like pulling teeth that's like pulling teeth that's a difficult thing to do so that's i'm not judging them i'm just saying they're not telling us what is actually going on look a little closer let's keep going yep yep it's true everybody says oh i understand structure and i understand <laughs> discipline and i understand yeah. dedication and determination Supposedly. until you actually get with someone that's devout about that i'm really good friends with the conversation is having right now it's like he's talking about an employee maybe that's one of the problems my ex-girlfriend really good friend a wife is a helpmate not an employee as we're good friends better as friends they are an asset if you find one if you're able to find one it's an asset they don't they don't they're not a liability right but wait how are you gonna if you're not taking a risk at some point even when you're buying an asset you're taking a risk right well, you're not willing to take the risk because the risk is too... You don't have that risk tolerance. You're not able... Because you're so rich, everyone that's coming around you, they tend to have a certain type of lifestyle. They're city girls. Ouch. Yeah. And, but yeah. other than that, they say, you, you, you gonna be, you're going to be all alone. One day I don't know. I'm not gonna be alone. I just want to be left the fuck alone. No, I don't say that to this kind of man. I just make content out of this. But if uh, when I know them in person, no, I don't unless they bring it up themselves. I actually have a couple of friends. I don't bring it up, okay? Because I don't think it's nice to to for them to receive that kind of pressure from a, on a personal level. But this is a coaching platform, so that's why I'm talking about this, okay? So uh, if people are saying that, they only start saying that after a certain point. And usually they don't want to attack men with that. If they're attacking a man with that, or you feel feeling attacked with that, that means it's don't reach. Right? Now, if it's a person that they're not interested, everybody kind of know. They, sad if they have a certain lifestyle from a long time ago. They kind of know that this one is probably never going to get married. It's not a situation where it's like, oh, everybody's now doing arranging for you and stuff like that. You know? Anyway, I just think that I don't think they are deliberately lying. It's a natural thing to try to justify bullshit when you find yourself in a certain like you would like it to be something else. Or, Let me find other ways to justify it. As a matter of fact, maybe that's what I'm doing right now. Maybe I'm trying to justify that I'm married, institutionalized. Who knows? Let's just borrow our self brain. Let's think deeper. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it's different. <laughs> it's a big difference. Like even if I live with you, go over there. The, the, you got the, two TVs. Two things can be true. Yeah. Being a now, that's a good point to make. Two things can be true, right? People can be married and have exactly what is describing. But when they've never been married before, the only way their brain can only comprehend the idea that you have a me time when they are single and they use that to justify why they are single. And the reality is that healthily married people, they have me time that's i'm even talking about even outside of the fact that they spend a lot of time at work separately that's just the reality for a lot of people All right but no you would take away from my life if you like yeah alone is not bad right. it's being lonely that's different and i like my time i like my my time by myself do you i, I love, love that shit. I lo I, i'm a married man and i love my time by myself too okay but i also love time with my wife two things can be true remember brothers two things can be true at the same time Let's i can spend hours by my damn I self can. if you're a reader if you're an information type of guy that's why i say i like to read a lot information comedy is information by yes. the way too mm -hmm. reading i tell it's like you know you have a few people at your job and they always say i, I like to be alone and you know like me too but I also like to engage other people. I, I like to have conversations, right? But I also like a me time where it's not about conversation. I need to focus, right? Two things can be true at the same time. And it's true. There's some people that just don't like people. <laughs> okay, there's some people like that. And there's some people, uh, they can't survive unless there are people around. Yes, you're right. 
but that's none of this case these guys right here there's something going on with them personally they're not able to secure a wife they're willing they're not able that's what i'm hearing okay but i'm hearing it in the form of you know i don't want to be socialized um you know i just like my me time go way over there go watch tv over there who doesn't have multiple tv in their house this is i get there some people but like come on come on man comics they'll read a lot of shit don't nothing's too stupid for you go to the museum go to, i can do all that by myself right. you go to gym on you work out on your own i do yeah you're like me i can to, to drag for people to go to gym sometimes oh i don't i gotta go yeah i do i've done a lot of stuff on my own travel by myself mm -hmm. i don't travel with a crew of people I travel by myself not all women are bad but i've been single for a long time man not all women are bad how do they get the, wait 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 hold on how wait, how do they get to that part of the conversation say what they want, Nini. did anybody say maybe that person is right i should have listened to the whole video no they said what they said okay and they just told on themselves they are suggesting it's a lot of bad women out here that's what that st st sentence means it means the 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 division that he in particular can see is that there's a lot of bad women out here and then let me justify that to i said not all women are bad but i've been single for a long time let's talk okay he's going to tell us the truth now wait my try to get used to it though. my best it's so fun my freedom you know how we fight for freedoms mm -hmm. financial freedom mental freedom yeah and when you get it you make people trying to make you feel bad no don't feel bad bro i'm sorry i don't mean to make you feel bad i, I hate that i feel i feel sad i don't want to make anybody feel bad that's the last thing i want to do as a matter of fact i hope to god that godfrey never see this video it's, I know it's already likely we'll never see this video. I hope to God it never see this video. But those that are like, I kind of like justify the nonsense from time to time. But I, I want to, but I'm not able. Maybe I can learn one or two things. That's just like what I'm doing this video for, right? You absolutely can, okay? We might just need to unravel, uncover some things. There's something about you that's attracting the situation you have right now. And if you want something different, only if you want something different, right? It's 2024. There are options. There are solutions. Not options in the form of women because that's not necessarily a good thing. But you do have options in terms of solutions. You need to talk to someone. Talk to a coach. Engage wise counsel. Have a conversation with somebody like, hey, I would like your wife. You know what? Arranging a marriage is not all the way bad like that. Somebody might just know someone and they have seen stories, successful stories like that all the time. Maybe you're not the kind, maybe you're not rich, but you also don't talk to girls a lot. You don't, you can't keep them around for a long time. Maybe you're the kind that always walk around talking about the alpha male to justify the nonsense after you find out that you're single at 35. I'm just an alpha male, I'm looking for an 18 year old girl. I, I've heard that before online in this internet. Somebody said, I'm just an alpha male, I'm 35, I'm looking for an 18-year-old girl. Like that. Bro, there's no 18-year-old girl that wants to be with you. They said something else going on. Talk to someone. That's what we're talking about here. And to, 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 to be on the safe side here, I don't know Sharp. I don't know Godfrey. I'm just dissecting their talking points here. Uh, what I've heard is just justifying, just shall i <laughs> and they will shall i eat tired please 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 because no evidence yeah. like, yeah. I, if, if i get to where you know i want to be with somebody special fuck yeah i mean yeah mm -hmm. how many you got he wants to be married he's not able he said how many you got three yeah damn you're lucky man he said you're lucky a person who doesn't have children does not call a person who have three children lucky let's not deceive ourselves who would like to have children is not able to have children i didn't create what they said they said what they said but i don't got, i don't have anything i just didn't never here's what's fucked up 
Tell us what's up. What's, what's fucked up. Tell us. Father would be like, be, don't get anybody pregnant. This, this, that, right? Be yeah. careful. Condom. You're 54 years old. We're still talking about that. Wait. Mm -hmm. Then, all of a sudden, like, I have nobody pregnant. He's like, when are you going to get children? I'm like, wow. You know he's a Nigerian, so he's mocking us Nigerians now. He does that all the time. And he's very funny when he does it. Oh, shit. Right. I understand the pressure. The pressure, I, I can only imagine. Okay. I can't even imagine. You know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, that's why to anybody in my personal life, unless they bring it up. And I'm always, in fact, honest truth is that I don't lie to them, but I say, you know, I encourage them that there are ways to create the result you're looking for if you're looking for something different, you know. And because I don't add that kind of pressure, they tend to feel safe to open up in, in my presence. They tend to, they argue a lot. I'll tell you that much. Actually, not all of them, but some of them argue a lot, right? Especially the ones that really want, but they're not able. They argue a lot because they're looking for all these talking points to justify their present situation. And I get it. I get it. But it just makes things worse if you're not able to just, if you're not able to see things for what they are, you know? I just, it just didn't, I had a girl for like 10 years. She he had a girl for 10 years. And he's scratching his head. Look at the body language. Pay attention. He wanted kids. She didn't want kids. She didn't want kids. Is there anything? So I was just used to not. You know what I'm saying? What, I. What's your thoughts on marriage? Same as yours. I want. Anyway, let's leave it at that. What are your thoughts? Ola, you're capping. I disagree with you. Please put it in the chat. Ola, you're right. You said, uh, you know, Ola. Another perspective I want to offer, Ola. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts about this. Okay. Marriage versus loneliness, insights from Shannon Sharp and comedian Godfrey. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I think everybody's path is different in life, ultimately. And how we get there is how we get there, and there's difference and all this kind of stuff. Let's just pay attention to, uh, for those of you that want different results, and please, you need to, you need to face the reality in order to create better results. If you lie to yourself, it just gets worse. That's really my personal message from this video today. All right, so it's a lot of nuances there, but let me know what your thoughts are nonetheless, all right? Do me a favor, hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever I go live, whenever I drop videos, and uh, as usual, I'll see you in no time. Touching and kissing me up on the floor, the coach in the kitchen. One loving up, we done enough.